Alrighty, right in front of me, this is the Aroma Diffuser by Olive Tech. I ordered this off of Amazon because I'm giving up on candles. I used to light candles all in here all the time, and I said no more lighting fire in this room. Candles are expensive, so I just want to give up on them entirely because it's just better. Okay, let's just quickly unbox this. If I can make it come out. Oh my god, come on! Okay. No, memory card full up there. All right, I'm back and it's the next day. I actually left to go disc golfing. Left it kind of how where it was so I can continue unboxing some stuff here. I know that's what's left. And it's 8.30 in the morning. Usually I don't make videos this early. Now when I was looking on Amazon, I wanted something to blend in with the background. This showed to be black or they sent me the wrong one. It actually looks like the size that I expected it to be, so it's okay. Now the big reason why I chose this one as well is because because it has touch sensitive buttons. You don't have to switch buttons over left and right or press them in, tap on it, it's gonna be switching them so it's a lot better. It's also visually appealing, less things to move around and it's very easy to set. And the bottom here, it looks like wood, right? So these feet are very rubbery. They wiggle around so that it looks like they can flex. If it was heavy, it's gonna stop the vibration. You got a ventilation there, or maybe a speaker lets you know that you're pressing the stuff. And then the plug-in for the power is, you get the water spout, that's 150 milliliters, the power cable, and the user manual. So that's pretty much what this is gonna do. We'll show you how it works in just a little bit. Now this Rada Beauty comes separately. You do have to buy your oils separately. Some of them come with them. This one comes with lavender, tea tree, peppermint, rosemary, orange, eucalyptus, lemongrass, and frankincense. Lemongrass is my favorite. Love that smell. Let me see. Oh, now these will come with, oh, I can smell it already. Lemongrass, this is the one I'm gonna be wasting the most. This smells so good. You gotta go into a candle store or somewhere that has this smell and smell it and I guarantee you're gonna love it, especially if you love lemon. Whew. Obviously, you got all the other bottles here. Not every one of these smells I'm gonna like, but I am gonna try them. There's eight different flavors, smells, we're gonna be able to test. Let me set this up for a thumbnail. Well, not really good, but good enough. Now, I'm using a water bottle here. Cleaner water. I like drinking it. I would like to vapor it. I can pour this water right in here without having to use a spout. Now I'm checking to see if there's a line indicator of how far you want to fill this up because you don't want to overflow it. Fill it in here actually to keep track. So 150 milliliters is this. We're gonna pick up the lemongrass, just crank it open, and this little tiny little inlet there. And what you're gonna do is just kind of mix it. It's gonna drop one, two, three, four, five. Oops, that's way too fast. <laughs> But just pour that in. I think five dropped. And the more you pour, the more smelly it's gonna get. And I think I'm gonna just do eight. It smells so good. It's like lemon heads, kind of, but better than lemon heads. Like it's stuff that you feel like you wanna smell in the shower, that kind of clean smell. Another 150 milliliter is gonna be 300. So let's pour that all in. So basically, the line that's inside, it's a little lip there. Don't go past that. Push this. Whoa. I accidentally touched it. We can change the color and the brightness. So let me turn off the light. Google, turn off lights from the outside. It's not very like bright where it's gonna be annoying. You have to dim it down. And the top has another light, the reflection. Let me see how that, yeah. So all the light is coming in from the bottom. And as you can see, it translates to the leak of this little spot, which looks cool. And the top also glows. Turn on lights. Okay, turning. We have the water vapor and then the timer. So we set the timer. Now right away, this vapor is cold because I poured cold water in here. You don't want to put hot water. And that smell is so strong. Like I put enough to be strong. You can, you know, obviously use less. It really depends on your nose and how much you really want it to smell. It'll also detect if it runs out of water, so it'll shut off. It reminds me of like if you're going to a spa, it's nice, you want to inhale it. It's not toxic. Now I'm gonna open it here to show you what it looks like. Okay, now I can use this as my thumbnail. Now this is what's happening underneath here. You don't want it to shoot like this. That's why there's a little funnel there to keep the water from shooting all over. You don't want to touch that little thing in there because it'll shock you. <laughs> How do I know? It's because I played with many of these before, but this is my favorite newest one. It's a bigger one that I'm used to, but again, it's gonna be a long lasting touch sensitive. I don't have to push any buttons, so that's the best part about it. So let me just put this away. Now I'm gonna stop talking real quick so you can hear what the fan sounds like when it's quiet.
Now this unit isn't the quietest one, it's not really loud, but for its size and functionality, I think it's going to be a great one to use. I'm excited about it, no more candles for me. So if you want one for yourself, if you already know what to do, find it in the description down below by clicking this little tab, or is it this tab? I think it's a great addition to have around the house, no more fire. I'm happy about it, it wasn't expensive compared to other ones that don't have the touch sensitive or this design. This is good for me. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.